Hi, today we are going to discuss about Zscaler Client Connector Strict Enforcement. When you are deploying a Zscaler Client Connector on user machines, Zscaler Client Connector will come up with two extensions, either EXE or MSA files. Most of the corporate will choose MSA because which allows you to do most of the customizations. When you deploy a MSA file on user machines, you have two options, either you can deploy it manually or you can deploy it via the device management softwares like GPO, SCCM, JAMF, JAMF, Panium, et cetera. When you deploy that particular MSA file on user machines, there are a lot of customizations are available like a cloud name. So if the particular domain or the account is created in different clouds, let's say zscaler.net or zscaler1.net, the same user domain is configured, then you have to choose the cloud name um, in order to select the cloud name during the deployment phase itself. And device token, this device token is predominantly used for making your client connector as an IDP and hide up UI launch. So when you, it, the application is launching, the UI will be hided. Policy token is predominantly used when you are uh, using strict enforcement to mention that this is the app profile which I'm going to enforce. Reinstaller driver, so if there is any driver is already installed during the installation phase, the previous driver will be uninstalled and reinstall the driver. Strict enforcement means when you enable strict enforcement is equal to one, that means the users will not be able to access any websites until unless they authenticate themselves. You have user domain, you can specifically mention this is the domain name which I'm gonna access. Let's jump in and quickly see how we can configure the same. Let's join, log into this machine. I have a script to execute it. Let's see where my MSA file is located. You can go to Z drive and the MSA file is located in Z drive itself and the file name is this one. So I can choose this one. And it is on the Z drive itself and cloud name is SGS Cloud and strict enforcement is one and user domain is itsecurelab.com and policy token. You can go to our profile and edit that profile which you need to associate. The policy token will be in the top. You can copy this and paste the policy token. Now, I'm just simply installing on the machine directly. You can use this uh, script uh, by creating a patch batch files and you can push it via the uh, GPUs where I'm just simply executing that command. When you execute it, the installation will start and the report, uh, installation report will be captured and put it into under C drive CCC dot text file. You can go here and gcc.test and you can see in details. So what is happening? And at the end, you could see downloading service configuration because you have already given the policy token based on the policy token, the configurations are downloaded. Now, the very first uh, screen is disappears. That first screen is for the cloud selection so that a screen is uh, disappears and uh, it's directly launching on the IDP. Um, my device is not integrated with my um, domains. It's not a domain connected machine. So the IDP will prompt it. You need to enter the username and passwords. Before that, let's try to access any websites here. I'm trying to access 
a website. It's asking me to connect, open the Zscaler client connector and sign in. So in the same way, I'm just trying to access uh, another HTTPS website like uh, google.com. It, it's prompted like a site cannot be reached. So if you are trying to access any HTTP sites, you will prompt, you will be prompted to authenticate yourself. And if you are using any HTTP yes sites, it will give you a site cannot be reached error message. Let's try to log in now. Now the HTTP site is accessible as well as the HTTPS site is also accessible. So this ensures that strict enforcement will allow um, you to uh, access internet sites only if you enroll yourself. Otherwise, if it is HTTP sites, you, it, the page will prompt it to uh, um, authenticate yourself. And if it is HTTPS sites, it will give you a site cannot be reached error message. Zscaler is um, planning to yeah. enable a notification for um, HTTPS sites as well. So that notification will be expected to be deployed on the latest, latest versions. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.